thing about the Chord Buddy, not only is it so easy to use, it's also an instant party. And let me prove that to you for a second. You like big and rich music? You want to come on the road with us? You want to be in a band? If you got a Chord Buddy and you can push the red button and the blue button, you can play Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Check this out. Well, I walk into the room, passing out hundred dollar bills, and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my Silverado grill. Red button, I buy the bar, a double round of crown. Everybody is getting down in this town. Ain't never gonna be the same. Red button, and I saddle up my horse. Blue button, and I ride into the city. Red button, make a lot of noise. Blue button, cause the girls, they are so pretty. Riding up and down Broadway on my old Stuttley Roy And the girls say, say horse, ride a cowboy Everybody say, say horse, ride a cowboy Woo! Party time with the Cord Buddy Get yourself a Cord Buddy and have some fun, people It's time All right. Well, it is Thursday, and we are back with the inventor of Ford Buddy, Travis Perry, Alabama. Good morning, Travis. Hello, Scott. And the first thing I want to say is happy Cinco de Mayo Day to yeah. you, sir. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo. Now, uh, there's a you have a favorite you have a favorite Mexican restaurant there in Dothan. We've we've eaten there together. You're gonna be there tonight? Nope. No, nope. <laughs> I told him last night that I wouldn't be seeing him tonight. Oh, fair. <laughs> it would be so crazy. Yeah. Uh, so no, I, I'll probably I'll probably eat at Jack's or or Bojangles or something tonight. <laughs> well, there's some good choices there in in uh, in Dothan. So, well, welcome. It was uh, it's uh, always fun to see uh, Mr. Rich playing there. And, yeah, uh, that was fun. I, I when we went up there, we at, we stayed two or three days, and we shot. Uh, well, he he actually did a, a, a demo on I think every product. Uh, the T did a demo on the capo tuner, did a uh, on the regular tuner. Uh, he did a demo on the Cord Buddy Juniors. So it well, that was a that was a fun two or three days. John's John's quite the fella. Yeah, and and uh, it's nice to see uh, tours going back on again yeah oh yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah they're 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 busy man yeah yeah that's wide open again so <laughs> yeah and uh so uh, will you be out on the road uh coming up doing any uh, traveling around uh, visiting folks see. yeah where well I, I think i'm going to go to Nam, and that's in july i think and yeah then uh uh I've got a couple of reach and teach events that that is coming up within the next few weeks yeah. that Cord Buddy helped sponsor. Uh, and t tell everyone about reach and teach because that's a that's a pretty good program. It is. It's uh, it's and it's a part of the Future Business Leaders of America I, or something similar to that uh, organization. But reach and teach goes into uh, to high schools and. They help the kids. Well, they don't help the kids. The kids does it themselves. This is just a curriculum, and they're actually giving giving school credit for it. Where they they put on a full scale rock concert, full scale. I mean, staging, lighting. Uh, they have they're they're responsible for for uh, security. They're responsible for promoting it for paying the bands, for printing the tickets, for the t-shirts, for having TV companies come in and film it. I mean, it's like a real promoter uh, because <laughs> it is a real rock concert. Yeah. And then the kids actually, the money they raise from ticket sales, they actually get to keep. Well, this is a, that's a great learning event for, uh, for the students to be able to put that yeah. on. Yeah, reachandteach.com, reachandteach.com. Reach and dot com. Dot yeah. dot com. And that's and that's a and that's a, something that Cord Buddy's been sponsoring. And I know I saw some great pictures from the concerts. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. But let's uh, let's talk about 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 Cord Buddy. Um, one of the things is, uh, well, can you bring out the guitar and the Cord Buddy and let's take a look? Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah. because Cord Buddy is the uh, 
world's best guitar learning system. And that's what we want people to learn is uh, here on Amazon is, is that uh, this is a, this is a way to learn how to play guitar. And so many people quit before they ever get started. They go out and spend money on a guitar and maybe even get some lessons and get started into it. And then, uh, but their fingers hurt or it's it's kind of hard. There's a lot of things going on between trying to get the rhythm and get your fingers planted in the right place. And uh, if you sing or don't sing like me, then uh, it, uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on. You know, Scott, I, as always, I, I check my tuning and uh, and in tune every time i play and i've been playing uh for over 50 years and uh always but always keep your guitar in tune always tune it and you know people say well once your strings settle in you 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 won't have to tune your guitar Mm -hmm. well unless you have a a graphite uh (laughs) guitar like like i actually do Mm -hmm. uh, or not graphite it's uh, uh fiberglass uh, that one doesn't go out of tune, but if it's a wood guitar like these are and with metal strings, I can assure you they will go out of tune with any change of the weather or temperature. Well, and I tell you, it was uh, 70 and sunny here in Oregon yesterday, and uh, today it's, uh, I think, 48 and raining. <laughs> so I can guarantee you that that any guitar that I have is out of tune. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I just checked my tuning, and I I was uh, probably let me see how much I was uh, thirty cents sharp on every note. <laughs> I was sharp. So uh, so yeah, it's just important to always keep your guitar in tune. Hey, did you see the uh, uh, we played this past weekend, Scott? Did you see the video I posted? Uh, that Elvis guy sitting in with us that sings Elvis. <laughs> I didn't see that one. Uh, you need to go. Uh, do I have it on my personal page? I think I do. I have it on my personal page. Go and look, and also have it on the State Line Five, uh, which is our band page. But this guy is amazing. His name is Jerome Jackson. Uh, he, he's a DJ, local DJ. He has a morning talk show here on, on uh, one of the radio stations. And uh, he sounds just like Elvis and doesn't really force it. I mean, you can tell when people are trying to, Ooh, right. you know, he just sounds like him. And so <laughs> he, he got up and he sang Hound Dog that I thought I might do. Yeah, yeah. You and know, that's, uh, because, a, that's a fun song. Well, and it uses a move that we teach in our uh, advanced chord buddy where you do a pedal move. So that's actually holding the blue and then pressing the yellow while holding the blue, that you have to keep the blue held down. And then you release it. And then you go to the green and you're gonna pedal the red. Okay, so here we go. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Well, you said you was high class. That was just a lie. Yes, you said you was high class. That was just a lie. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Woo! <laughs> but you're a friend of mine, Scott. I that don't know is how many a... rabbits you've ever caught, but, uh, but I'll overlook that. I'm willing to <laughs> overlook that. I love it. Travis, that, you know, that is so fun because uh, here you are um, playing a, a, a really popular song that Elvis did. and uh, But using, I would say, uh, a simple move on chord, buddy. Now it is an advanced move, uh, playing the uh, doing the pedal move, but that takes years for people to learn uh, without using a chord, buddy. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you're probably, 
I mean, even if you fast pace it, you're probably six months into playing before you would be able to to start start that. Uh, and with Cord Buddy, uh, well, you move into the advanced. Uh, you can either take 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 it off at two months, or if you want to get a little bit more under your belt, so to speak, you can mm-hmm. leave it on a little longer and take and and watch our advanced videos. Well, there's a couple of things that are going on with that. Not only is it with Cord Buddy, are you, are you using uh, two different buttons, so you're 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 getting that uh, um, finger memory, that muscle memory, right? With uh, uh, pushing the buttons, holding it, and then pushing another one and holding the one down. But there's some advanced strumming that that you've got going on there as well. Yeah, not just and, and targeting. You're you're targeting certain strings, so that helps. Like on the on the G, you're only targeting the top three strings. Right on the C, you're targeting the fifth, the fourth, and the third. Those are the only strings you want to hit. You don't want to, um, when you're doing the C pedal, you do not want to hit the top string, which is an an E note, and you don't want to hit the bottom two string, which is the B and and another E. Uh, So that's working with your right hand on targeted string. Yeah, and so I'll just let people know that there's a uh, so you can if you have a guitar already, and uh, you were struggling, didn't learn how to play. It's in the closet, it's under the bed, uh, in the attic. Uh, you can get it down, put a chord buddy, and you can buy the chord buddy, and the chord buddy comes with the chord buddy unit uh, and the instruction book and one of the song books, and then uh, we also have. Uh, a lot of different songbooks here, and I've got those in the carousel where you can take a look and you can find uh, hundreds of more songs uh, to play with Chord Buddy. But using that those this uh, pedaling technique, you're going to play a lot of rock and roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a really yeah. popular uh, rockabilly, uh, early rock and roll, and uh, even current songs. Yep, true. All true. And so there's a, and uh, uh, I think, Travis, we're going to have to, uh, uh, one of these times here too, start looking at the ukulele because uh, that's a great, uh, a great instrument for people. And there is a chord buddy for ukulele. Yeah, we, we're working on getting that on, on a- Amazon. It shouldn't be much longer and we'll have the ukuleles on Amazon. <laughs> and uh, so, so, uh, what was what was one of the first songs that you learned to play on guitar when you were uh, just a young lad? Uh, I, I'll, I'll do the very first song. Uh, it was uh, let me see what key I, I did it in. This was the very first song with playing chords that my mother taught me. And this was in a Mel Bay uh, songbook. I don't know. If, I don't remember which Mel Bay, but Mel Bay was huge and, and probably still is. <clears throat> um, for, That's for where TV. I started. Started with the Mel Bay guitar method. You did as well. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So this was the very first song. It was called "Long Long Ago." Tell me the tale that to me. Were so deep long, long ago, long, long ago. Well, that's beautiful, Travis, and I and I love that because uh, again, you were showing some uh, uh, being able to use the chord, buddy, and get those chords solid. But again, you were do you were using some advanced strumming there, not just running the pick down the strings, yeah, but you yeah. were actually uh, uh, highlighting the bass note there. Uh, I was using the alternating strum pattern, and very observant of you to notice that, Scott. Uh, on the C, the alternating strum pattern, you pick the fifth and strum, and then you pick the fourth on the G 
you pick. Actually, I, I, I did a variation of the alternating pick strum. I actually went six, five, four, back to five, and then six. So I'll play that without me talking. <laughs> And that's just more exciting than just doing this. You know, I mean, I can do tell me the tale that you were so dear. Long, long. I mean, and that works, obviously. But if we do long, long ago, long. <laughs> and that's the that's the beauty of of chord buddy is that people can get their guitar get it tuned up and put the chord buddy and when we when we wind down today i'm going to play a, a little video that shows people how to install the chord buddy and make sure that they get it properly installed <laughs> i got an email scott from a customer uh by the way every one that that buys a chord buddy i i, I stay in touch with them uh so I just want everyone to know that. But I got an email from a, a customer that bought one, and he says, I'm, I'm I'm happy. Let me think how he put it. I'm happy and mad at the same time. He says, <laughs> I'm happy that I finally bought the that I that you invented the chord buddy so I can start playing, but I'm mad that you didn't invent it 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he went on to say that he tried and got frustrated mm -hmm. and quit. And, oh, yeah. and sadly, uh, that he, that echoes uh, with him with 70% of the people that try to play guitar get frustrated and quit within the first 60 days. And that's what happened to him. He got frustrated, quit. He saw a rerun of Shark Tank uh, here a while back, bought it, and now he's playing. And he oh, had quit great. for 40 years, 40 <laughs> years, tried, quit, didn't even attempt it again. Didn't, didn't want to, the frustration of trying it again until he saw Chord Buddy. Wow. And I've got uh, th that episode of Shark Tank, by the way, I've got highlighted in the carousel. If someone wants to go on Amazon here and rent that episode, they can, they can watch when you were first introduced broadly to the world. Yeah. Now you had been selling chord buddies for a while before you got on Shark Tank. Yeah, we had uh, we had been on the market for about 18 months prior to, to going on Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's uh, that episode is there when uh, and, and, you know, I love it when I watch that episode and you see Robert Herjavec, who hadn't played guitar, but wanted to. And you put that guitar in his hand with the chord buddy. And he puts his finger on that button and he ran that pick down the strings and the look on his face is, is just unbelievable. It is. And I have seen that and I'm so glad I've seen it, but Scott, I have literally seen that look thousands upon thousands of times mm -hmm. from someone literally making the first pleasing sound that they've ever made in their life on a musical <laughs> instrument. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, there's a video production company in town. Uh, they're called Caution Glass. I had, and I had to ask them where that name came from. Interesting story on that. But uh, so they came in and they want to do some videos and some production work. And, and uh, the girl that was with them had never held a guitar. Not even tried to play. She never even held one. Mm. And literally within a minute, she played Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> and to see her face, I mean, when she went, when she was doing that, and she started doing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose, a nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. I mean, her face was, <laughs> she could not, she literally could not believe her ears. Wow. I mean, she said, she got through, she says, I cannot believe I just did that. Mm-hmm. 
And, you know, when you were on Shark Tank, one of the things that uh, really captured the attention of the sharks, and they all wanted to do business with you, was uh, when they found out that it wasn't, uh, as some people might say, a cheat, yeah. but that it's actually a system. When you showed them how you remove the tabs and start using your fingers, all of a sudden, they all sat up and leaned forward. It, you know, it, it's like uh, if 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 you're if you're around with fish are, and you're and you're just sitting there looking at them, you know, and they're looking back up at you, not doing a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Well, you throw a ha a fistful of fish food out there, and and they start attacking it. That's <laughs> what it was like. They were just looking at me, you know. And then when I when when I removed when when I did, well, actually, what happened was Mister Wonderful says. Well, you can't learn with that. That's just a cheater, you know. And I sort of said, "Well, yeah, it would be if it didn't do this." And then I pulled that out, and I said, "And then you start, you remove it, and you start making the the chords yourself. That chord bay was making for you, and then the frenzy was on. <laughs> it really was. Yeah, you put that you put that fish food out there, that shark bait out there. Yeah." <laughs> Yeah, well, I see the thing is I knew I had to convince Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, yeah. that this was a legitimate teaching system, that it wasn't mm -hmm. a cheater, that it's a teaching system, and there's a method to everything we do. There's a reason for for everything. You'll look here, you'll see this. There's a hump right there. There's a hump right there. There's reasons for everything. There's a hump right there. So there isn't a single part of this device that, that wasn't thought out. We did 17 prototypes, and since then, we have changed it six more times. And since that, we've even built new molds. So we're constantly doing what we can to make the product as good as it can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the, that's the thing is, is that those little humps allow you to pull that tab out and get your finger onto the strings. Yep. So as you're as you uh, start to learn that rhythm, and we showed a couple of different ways to strum, where you were just strumming straight off them, and then you were using some uh, alternating bass methods. We you were doing some advanced methods with the uh, pedaling, and uh, now then your hands are getting stronger. Your left hand is getting stronger. And uh, putting your fingers actually now onto the strings and yeah. actually learning how to play. I want to, and uh, I, I, I talk about, well, I don't know that it, if this is on a video or not. If it's not, this will be the first time doing it. But for years, we teach how to make a D chord. And as a teacher, I taught it like this for years. Well, it's because if you look at a D chord, in a, in a diagram, it has these, this finger and this finger stacked exactly on top of each other. And then uh, this is the D shape. This isn't a D chord. But my point is they have this finger, this, th then they're stacked right on top of each other. Uh, the problem with that, to do that, to stack them, you have to, to change the position of your wrist and your elbow for that to happen. Mm -hmm. All right? So with Chord Buddy, what we did, we put this hump here, and all you do is bring this finger straight down, all right, straight down, and then this finger goes down beside this finger, not on top, not underneath it, beside mm -hmm. it, and then here. If you notice with me doing that, look, my wrist, mm. nor does my elbow change positions. See that? Yeah, it's very it, natural. It, it didn't have to swing out. It didn't have to do that to make the D chord. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and to be honest, I did not even realize how important <laughs> that was until chord buddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I did, I, I, because I started noticing when I was making my D chord, the first time I wanted to change, because I'd been throwing that arm out to make the D chord for 40 years, you know? <laughs> And then, and then with Corbett, I didn't have to do, I said, whoa, that's the way you should, we should be, have been teaching to make the D chord the whole time. So right. you don't have to have to do that thing or like that. Mm -hmm. And I know as a guitar player, Scott, if you do that, there's no way to stack them without 
doing that, doing that like that. So, yep. Yeah. As you said, there's everything is intentional about the, uh, about the cord buddy. And, uh, now cord buddy was, is, uh, such a great learning tool. I'll just let people know too, that, uh, there are some counterfeits out there. And I'm, and so, I'm looking at a box full of them on top of my, <laughs> on top of my <laughs> filing cabinet. In fact, we have we've had this happen several times. They actually we have gotten returns uh, that has our books in it and the counterfeit cord buddy. <laughs> so make sure uh, that you're buying a, a, a genuine cord buddy. And uh, there's a there's a a couple of things I think about the knob and and whatnot that uh, people can look at and know they've got the real cord buddy, yeah. And the and the name molded into the top. Yeah, if it doesn't have the cord bu buddy uh, logo, I don't know if you can see it there. Let me see if I can position yeah, it. Yeah, it's a little hard. Like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, you can't, but if it doesn't have the logo there, then it's not real. Uh, I used to say if it had a gold knob, it wasn't real, but then the, the Chinese saw me saying that, and mm -hmm. then they started painting the gold knobs black. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that may not be the case now. Hey, I wanted to, did you see my shirt, Scott? Look at that. Let's, uh, that, let's put that full screen here. There you go. Isn't that good looking? Look at there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I saw this shirt. I forget where I saw it, but I had to have it. Had the American flag on a guitar headstock. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really good. Yeah, that's um, and and that goes back to Chord Buddy itself being made in the USA, and much of it made in Alabama. In fact, Dothan, Alabama. Uh, every part of the Chord Buddy system is is here in Dothan, Alabama. Yeah. From the the uh, uh, the fingers, the books, uh, everything. Box. Yeah, I've I've you know I've been uh, able to visit the injection molding company there where they they uh, make the components, and over to the printer where they're printing the books. Yeah, and there's a lot of jobs that uh, people have because of corporate, which is again one of the one of the things that was a, a key. Uh, element that that you wanted to have a key value that you had that you've retained for all these years yeah uh, it, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll say this it hasn't always been easy to keep it stateside yeah it really hasn't uh but uh but i made a vow to uh to myself actually that mm -hmm. that i i would never take the cord buddy uh and have it made overseas yeah uh and I've, I've said, you know, people say, you, yeah, you can make it cheaper overseas. I said, you can, but at what cost? Mm, at mm -hmm. what cost to your city? At what cost <clears throat> to your employees? At what cost? You know, yeah, it's cheaper. But in the long run, the cost uh, mm -hmm. of, of what you lose outweighs that gain, in my yeah. opinion. Well, and I'll say, I'll say for learning how to play guitar, the price of a chord buddy with the the chord buddy, the learning system book, uh, the um, uh, the song book, it's a lot less than than going out and buying a lesson or two. <laughs> oh, for for yeah, for what uh, for what? Literally, either either an hour lesson or two thirty minute lessons. Mm -hmm. you're, you're you're. I promise, I hundred percent guarantee that you're going to play a song the first day that you mm -hmm. had your mm -hmm. board buddy. and yeah. you cannot say that with taking a guitar lesson <laughs> and i'm not i'm not kicking guitar teachers i am one and right I'm without chord buddy for 40 years and i'm telling you it's 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 not easy uh they're not playing a song for for several weeks because you have to learn at least two chords it's a minimum of two chords to play that's right yeah you know and so that's going to take a, at least two to three weeks Mm -hmm. Well, if they stick with it again, 70% end up quitting. <laughs> yeah. And not only do you have to learn the chords, you have to learn how to strum. We, we started off, uh, today's show with, uh, with John Rich playing and, uh, he was only using two chords, 
but his strumming is what makes that a song. That's true. Strumming is actually the hardest part. Most people think that it is the right hand, but it's it's actually not. It's it's the I mean the left hand, the mm-hmm. the chord hand. It's actually the strumming hand. Yeah. And I said, we'll say every time we talk about it, if you're not playing in, in meter, in proper meter and playing in time, you're not making music, you're making a mess. <laughs> Indeed. Well, Travis, I know you've got to uh, go record the uh, Chord Buddy podcast. Mm-hmm. So as always, it's just so much fun to hang out with you. You're such a great well, guy. I look and, forward uh, to this weekly. I do. <laughs> it's fun. So I'm going to let you go and I'm going to play a little video that uh, is part of the video series. That's the learning system. And uh, so we have a little segment that uh, shows people how to properly install the chord buddy on their guitar. Uh, it's pretty simple to do, but if just as you say, if you do it right, it's wonderful. <laughs> so we'll show people yeah. that little video. So with that, uh, Travis, we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks so much. Mm-hmm. Well, it's time to put the Chord Buddy on your guitar. Um, Chord Buddy works wonderful. It's an amazing product, but like anything, it does have to be installed correctly. So let me tell you a little bit about the Chord Buddy before we we uh, put it on, and then I'll show you how. So as as you know, each button presses down a chord. What you might not get is that on the underneath side if you see that wiggling each tab is pressing down at least two and in three instances it's pressing down three strings at one time okay so what you want to do is you want to unscrew this so that this collar will slide up and back okay and you want to lay the guitar down in your lap or either on a table put a towel or something under the table you don't want to scratch your guitar and i like to start from the big e side and there's two clear shoulders that must sit on top of the fretboard right outside the two e strings the top and bottom string so push it over you want to line it up right here and you want to press down on the blue tab and make sure it's hitting just barely behind the third fret that's important the third fret is barely behind it then squeeze it together with with your thumb and finger and then tighten it up and let me tell you something go ahead and tighten it uh you're not going to break it and i don't get a pair of vice grips and tighten it but you need to get it really snug because you don't want it moving around on you because as you start pressing these down see If you don't have it tight enough, it's going to tilt and work its way down. Now, as you can see here, there's a slight upward angle. And that's what I mean by upward angle, like that. You do not want the chord buddy flat down. What will happen if it's flat? Your strings will buzz, and it will not sound good to you. So make sure when you have it installed that you do see this upward angle right here. And if you've done that, I can promise you it will play perfectly. Well, there you have it. It's uh, always fun to to be here on Amazon Live and uh, talk about Chord Buddy. And there are there is uh, several different products here in the carousel. We've got the Chord Buddy itself, and then there's the Chord Buddy combo, where you can get the guitar, the Chord Buddy learning system, which includes the Chord Buddy, the learning system book the songbook picks and if you get the combo then it's got the tuner as well the chord buddy tuner and we've got a couple of different finishes in there you've got uh the natural and then the uh kind of the the um little darker starburst look there sunburst and that's just a beautiful finish both of them are really nice they are great playing guitars i have one here and uh I really, I really like the finish of this guitar, and so having uh, having a guitar is a great thing. And uh, entry level guitars are kind of hard to find, but right now there's plenty of them at Chord Buddy. So you can get just the guitar, uh, the, but you can get the combo. I encourage you to get the combo. 
and uh, or just the chord buddy but if, if you've got one already now there's plenty of songbooks available as well so the chord buddy learning system the idea is is that you start uh, using the chord buddy and following the lesson plan system in about two months you'll have worked your way out away from using the chord buddy and then be using your string your fingers on the strings uh, that's because these tabs remove so they're playing the chord but then uh, over time you start to use your fingers on the strings and so that's the that's why it's called a learning system and that's one of the beautiful things about chord buddy and it is uh, earlier as we were talking with travis when he was on shark tank and uh kevin o'leary mr wonderful said this is not a way to learn to play guitar it's just a cheat and uh, when travis showed him how those tabs come out that play the chords and then you use your fingers on there all of the sharks leaned forward and wanted to be a part of that and you can see that uh, we've got that episode highlighted right now in the carousel so there's plenty of opportunities to be able to uh, watch that episode now there's plenty of songbooks as well that are available out there and uh including uh i've, I've just highlighted one which is uh, for worship songs so if you're in the church and you uh, would like to play uh, worship songs uh here's one that is in the key of g and it's using four chords and he uses the four chords that chord buddy plays which is a g a c a d and an e minor and these songs in this particular songbook uh, although not designed specifically for chord buddy those these all of the songs use just the four chords that you get in a chord buddy so you can start playing worship songs right away now there's plenty of other song songs and songbooks so there's hymns you can get the uh traditional hymns in a chord buddy and play those as well those are available uh also highlighted in there is uh, uh volume three so there's volume one which you get with the uh, chord buddy when you buy it you have volume two volume three another 100 songs or so um in in the book 60 to 100 songs in each of the song books so there's plenty of songs that you can play i have been having so much fun i uh use the i have the chord buddy here at the house and so when my kids come or we have guests over uh we've got the chord buddy on the guitar and a, a tuner because you always want to make sure it's tuned up but friends can come and and even if they have never played a guitar before never played a chord on a guitar and uh, never even held a guitar they can pick up the chord buddy uh the pick up the guitar with the chord buddy on it uh and instantly be playing chords and then songs and sing along and having a great time and that's what's really fun about having the song books is that uh, you can pull those out you can look through and if you see a song that you like that you want to sing you can have your own little karaoke opportunity there and so as people are are uh, have come out of COVID, we're getting back together we got family reunions you got friends coming over you got backyard barbecues get a guitar get a chord buddy and learn how to play today so that's a lot of fun hey i am gonna sign off uh it's scott smith here and uh, I always have a lot of fun with Travis on uh, Amazon Live. And uh, let's go back out with John Rich showing us how Chord Buddy, how you can play a big and rich song with Chord Buddy. About the Chord Buddy, not only is it so easy to use, it's also an instant party. And let me prove that to you for a second. You like big and rich music? You want to come on the road with us? You want to be in a band? If you got a Chord Buddy and you can push the red button and the blue button, you can play Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Check this out. Well, I walk into the room, passing out hundred dollar bills, and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my Silverado grill. Red button, I buy the bar a double round of crown. Everybody is getting down in this town. 
ain't never going to be the same. Red button, and I saddle up my horse, blue button, and I ride into the city. Red button, make a lot of noise, blue button, because the girls, they are so pretty. Riding up and down Broadway on my old studly boy, and the girls say, say horse, ride a cowboy. Everybody say, sing a horse, ride a cowboy. Woo! Party time with the cord buddy. Get yourself a cord buddy and have some fun, people. It's time.